the system is not very effective these days. We have very high fines of, of up to 1 billion of euros against corporate groups. But the Commission does not look at the efforts undertaken by group parent companies to prevent their subsidiaries from infringement. This means the Commission will not consider effective compliance programs as a mitigating or exculpating circumstance. And I'm pleading for um, considering compliance programs and giving therefore an incentive to the parent to undertake those efforts. That would make uh, one uh, big difference. Um, everything would remain the same as far as the imposition of fines against a subsidiary is concerned which has infringed the competition uh, rules. But as far as you want to impose an additional sanction on the parent, it would require the Commission to assess carefully whether the parent company was involved directly in the infringement, if so, heavy sanctions are justified, or alternatively, um, whether the parent um, has um, not undertaken all efforts required to uh, implement strict compliance rules. A legal person can only be sanctioned if it was individual involved in an infringement. This is Article 48 of the Charter of Fundamental Rights. And this requires, as a matter of law, that you so show some kind of negligence of the parent company. Currently, the Commission is not required to demonstrate any negligence of the parent company. And also, from a practical aspect, um, this would improve the system because you would give strong incentives to the parent companies to undertake compliance efforts. We have sort of a perverse situation these days that, insofar as the Commission and the courts say that the existence of group-wide compliance programs can be used as an argument to impose sanctions on the parent, which is sort of paradoxical. It would not be too difficult for the Commission, even without any legislative initiatives, to change the policy. The Commission would simply have to slightly adjust their current sanctioning regime by implementing the requirement that compliance programs must be undertaken by the parent and if so a fine would not be feasible. The Commission could without any problems slightly move their sanctioning policy in that direction. I think that it would improve the system a lot if we had sanctions against um, individual persons and managers. We have that in Germany, we have the same in the United States. The problem is the Commission does not have those powers to impose sanctions on managers, so we would have two alternative uh, or ways to, to solve the problem. One would be to change the European legislation and to transfer such powers to the Commission. This is quite problematic. The other way would be to, um, to implement uh, national legislation in so far so that the Commission could uh, transfer certain aspects of a case to the national competition authorities which have the possibility to impose fines and this at the same time would serve as a strong argument to reduce the corporate fines at the same time. The imposition of high fines can have detrimental effects on the economy as well because you have to see that the fine which um, is imposed on the company is sort of a cost element for further pricing decisions of that company. So high fines um, have the tendency to be transferred on the consumers which has a perpetuating effect of the cartel infringement and I think uh, this point deserves closer scrutiny.